Hello everybody, Marco Cipetta with Hot Hardware and I'm with Kadar who's with NVIDIA. He's going to show a really cool RTX Remix demo. So I'm going to pass it off to him and let you see this in action. Go ahead, Kadar. Alright, so we launched RTX Remix earlier this year. Since then, we have more than 20,000 modders actively working on more than 100 different game modding projects. Some of the cool ones that we like to talk about are Need for Speed Underground 2 and Splinter Cell. The announcement at Computex is that we are now open sourcing the different elements of RTX Remix. Earlier this year, we open sourced the RTX Remix runtime, which allows or enables improved compatibility with fixed function calling uh, DirectX 8 and DirectX 9 titles. Next, we are open sourcing the Remix Toolkit, which is the tool that modders use to improve the assets or enhance the assets within older game titles. Sure. This allows modders to connect Remix or add more functionality to the Remix Toolkit, connect it to different applications. Yep. We are open sourcing or we are launching the Remix Runtime SDK, which enables modders to not only integrate DirectX 8, DirectX 9 titles, but expand compatibility with non-DX8, DX9 titles. For example, we have Fallout 3 here, which is a modding project that's actively under development. And finally, we are launching the Remix Toolkit REST API, which allows modders to connect other DCC or content creation tools with Remix Toolkit very easily. And as an example of this REST, REST API for Remix, we have showcased connecting RTX Remix Toolkit with Comfy yep. UI, which is one of the most popular stable diffusion distribution that allows allows creators to chain together multiple different AI models and the text prompt to generate really cool create okay. textures. So here I have Portal RTX loaded up in my RTX Remix Toolkit and I'm going to select a texture. On the left screen I have Comfy UI. This is this workflow for Comfy UI which will help me generate the texture that I'm going to replace this one with. Okay. I'll provide a prompt that is more steampunk inspired, so which ne doesn't necessarily belong to the portal universe, but uh, lets us see the creative. Sure. So, okay. so th this is what the texture looks like now. It's just this simple metal texture here. Okay. And with this prompt, what's going to happen is it's first going to generate the image with stable diffusion, upscale this image. Next, we are going to generate the various different maps that are required for a physically based material to be rendered inside our DX So, normal maps, displacements, and metallic, and so on. And then we send it back to the remix. This entire pipeline takes about two minutes to generate for each texture. Okay. So, we have pre generated one over here with this. As you can see, this we were able to use AI to replace the texture within portal in less than two minutes. That's really cool. So, if you're you know modding, a, working on a modding project, and you're not an artist, you can use Gen AI to create these assets really, really quickly. And then that's what the whole level looks like with basically all of the textures replaced, correct? Yes, so this level has only about five different textures, so it took us about 10 minutes to replace the entire level. And it's really helpful for modders if you want to add a new theme to a certain level or the entire game and create different versions of the same game, right. essentially. So RTX Remix, the open source version, the open source components are coming later this month, yeah. and we are really excited for you to try it out. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great.